Hello everyone. Welcome to this video where we'll talk about using Express Workbench to publish an application to Express Insight. In addition to using Express Workbench to build Moselle models, you can also use Express Workbench to build Express Insight applications. When you open an Express Insight application in Express Workbench, you, you'll notice that here on the top left, I have a particular folder structure that is associated with Express Insight. For example, I have a source folder which has my Moselle source code. I have a client resources folder which holds my VDL screens. In order to publish this application to Express Insight, you'll notice on the top right corner, I have a tab called as Express Insight. Within that particular tab, I have a button called as Publish. When I click on that button, I'm prompted to enter my credentials to log in to the Express Insight server. You'll notice that I have Express Insight installed on my local machine in this particular setup. In most of your setups, it may be such that Express Insight is actually installed on a server, in which case you are able to give that particular server address over here as well. So, upon logging in, I am prompted to choose what I want to do with this particular application. I have a couple of options over here. First off, I can create a brand new application, or if I want to, or if I already have a previous version of the application, I can choose to update that version. So over here, I'm just gonna click on publish over here and create a brand new application. When I click on publish, what's happening is there's a compilation process that's happening in the background. You can see the logs over here in the console. If there are any Tableau workbooks, it publishes those Tableau workbooks. And at the end of the day, there's this green button here on the top, which if I click, it takes me to the application in question. So here is what I published with Express Insight, and now it's deployed on the particular server that you published it to. Once you've published something to Insight, you'll see that it's super easy to go ahead and make changes on the fly uh, while you're developing this application. So for example, over here I have this particular view that has some text here on the screen. If I want to make a change to this text over here, all I need to do is go back into my Express Workbench, bring up that relevant uh, VDL file, and make a change directly over here. Once you have made the change, I can click on this publish button again, at which point it republishes the current version to the server. If I go back to Express Insight, you'll see that the change has been reflected here immediately. So this way you're able to rapidly iterate and create different versions of your application. And the key benefit over here is that I'm logged in as a particular user over here. You could have your end users log in and you could have uh, a very iterative session of building or changing or getting feedback on your application. One other important thing that I would like to talk about today is also talk about some debugging features of Express Workbench as it pertains to Express Insight. So in this particular case, I have a scenario over here. If I want to debug this scenario, I can do that from Express Workbench. The way I do that is to again come back here on the top right tab of Express Insight. Now that you'll notice that I now have a, a folder structure in here, which basically shows me a live view of all the scenarios that I have in that particular application on that particular Insight server. Now, once I have this scenario over here, what I can do is I can right click on this particular scenario and I can debug the various run modes that are available for that particular, on that particular scenario. So for example, over here, once I go into my Moselle source code, I can scroll down and I can put a breakpoint wherever I want to. So for example, let's say I wanna have a breakpoint on my, in my initializations uh, block. So I put a breakpoint by clicking on the left side of the line number. And after that, I can come in here, right click and do debug scenario load. What that does is it publishes the latest version to the inside server and then runs the scenario in debug mode. So you'll notice that on the UI part, if I go back, you'll see that the scenario is executing right now. And if I go back to Workbench, I see that it has actually stopped at this particular breakpoint that I provided. Now, you have all the other debug capabilities that we went through in another video. Basically, you can step over 
you can take a look at arrays uh, and basically uh, you can do a lot of debugging functions over here. Once you're done debugging, you can hit on the play button, in which case it runs through and completes the execution. Do remember to click on the stop button in order to release the control back to the user interface. So once I click on the stop button, the run has completed. And if I go back to my user interface, I see that uh, this, this particular run has completed. So in this manner, you're able to debug uh, as many run modes as you want, uh, as many scenarios as you want uh, using Express Workbench. Thank you for listening to this short video on using Express Workbench to publish applications to Express Insight.